Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of the great millstone who teach and who rule well, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim, keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or whether they forbear. And um, this is going to be a, a quick installment of daily bread. All right, I'm going to try to do daily shorts, keep them uh, 10 minutes or under, where I just bring out some scriptures that feed the spirit. All right, so today, this one is going to be entitled, The Lord, uh, Angels Encampeth Round About Them That Fear Him and Delivereth Them. All right, pretty much just uh, going into the importance of the fear of the Lord and that protection that we pray for daily. All right, that comes with it. Okay, that, that comes with taking heed to his words. So I'm going to go ahead and read. I'm going to start off here in Psalms 34th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. All right, and that's ultimately what we're, what we're looking for. All right, the Lord's deliverance from all the evil, from the, the wicked. Okay, it says they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is good and blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. All right. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. All right. False doctrine. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh, meaning he's close unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. All right. So that's beautiful. Let's get a little bit more. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. All right. You fear the Lord. Okay. You fear the Lord. You keep his commandments and he delivers you. All right. He delivers you from all evil, all trouble. All right. Because he's the one that's bringing it. This is uh, Proverbs chapter one and verse uh, one. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. All right. Solomon was the wisest man to ever live. And that's also Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. Okay. It says to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. All right. That's that's what this is. OK. The words of the wise are dark sayings, you know, telling you of the things that are to come. OK. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto the, to thy head and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, 
consentest thou not? If they say, Come with us, and let us lay wait for blood, let us look privily for the innocent without cause. All right, and that's what you see a lot of our people doing, okay? Two-thirds of our people are predators, all right? They lie, they cheat, they steal, they scam, they finesse, all right? Do not, do not be a partaker of these things. Continuing on, Proverbs 1 and 12, it says, Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. So he's saying, join up with us and let us all divide the spoil together as one. Okay. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. Okay. Why? Because any trap that the wicked set up for the innocent, for the righteous is going to fall back upon them. All right. It says, Proverbs 1 and 19. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom, though, wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. So where are you going to find the knowledge, wisdom, understanding in the streets? All right. Where the prophets are. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Right, how long are you going to keep rejecting the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh Bashim Shai? How long are you going to, to instead of studying and reading and, and, and watching and soaking up the knowledge of the Lord, how long are you going to be on TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook? All right. Okay, it says, Continuing on, verse 23, turn you at my reproof, All right, meaning my correction, turn at my correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You, you counted it as something that's that's not worthy. OK, that's not that's not worth anything. All right, you didn't want to hear the counsel of the Lord. OK. So it says, because you've done these things, you would not hear any of his proof. Okay, verse 26, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. They didn't want to. They despised the, the correction, the rebuke of Yahweh Bashem Shai, that comes from the, the mouths of the prophets. Okay, verse thirty-one. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me, shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right. So there you go. Those who fear the Lord, who hearken unto his voice, shall be quiet from fear of evil. Why? Because angels and can't run about those that fear him and deliver them from all their troubles. All right. So I'm going to close out. OK. Once again, this is a daily bread. All right. As always, all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Shalom. On to the next one.